Hey guys, Captain Foley here. Just got back from uh, Free Comic Book Day, uh, downtown London. I was there uh, since 7.30 this morning. Uh, I just got home now and it's just after 2.30. Um, it was great. It was wet and cold though. Uh, kind of a shitty day for the Free Comic Book thing. But, got some cool stuff and I uh, wanted to quickly give you guys a sh uh, recap of what I got. Um, I'll probably be doing a more detailed thing in a Captain's Log coming up. Uh, soon, but wanted to show you guys what I got. Let's uh, change camera here. So, got these. These were three for a dollar. So I grabbed quite a few, all the different ones that they had. They had some doubles and things, but I didn't want to get any doubles. So, got some more ships to add to the Trek Yards fleet here. So, check them out. And I also got a ton of uh, free comics and stuff, which we're going to go take a look at right now. They're all upstairs, so you're going to have to follow me upstairs while I trip over things. More cowbell. Thanks, Cliff. <laughs> um, so, yeah, let's uh, take a look at what we got over here on the table. Picked up this Star Trek Tactics game and uh expansion set this was six dollars this was five dollars but it was 50 percent off so i got both for like 550. got the bandai poe x-wing fighter and the bandai atst model kits uh these aren't available in canada you can't order them but uh managed to find some downtown and they uh was buy one get the other 20 percent off so and then, of course, had to pick this up. It's one of the main reasons I went to Free Comic Book Day. But, got a bunch of other stuff. Daily Planet, Superman Secret Revealed, some graphic novels. Transformers 30th Anniversary Collection. And then a whole ton of uh, free stuff comics so like I said I'll probably do a captain's vlog on a lot of this stuff uh, soon but uh, lots of good stuff and uh, only spent about a hundred dollars which was for those three books which are on sale and these model kits and this game so Attack on Titan, a bunch of uh, other stuff. So, yeah, and I got home, laid it all out, didn't realize how much stuff I had gotten. And now, get home and Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull is on. Not the best, of course, but... Where can one find the screensavers that we see on your screens? Well, I've talked about this many times. Uh, some of them are actual screensaver programs, uh, which I've downloaded over the years. Other ones are um, Elkar's animations and things that are on YouTube. Just have on, just have on so that you guys can enjoy them in the background. Um, if you want to private message me, uh, you can do so on Facebook. Uh, send me your email and I can send you a few of the screensavers via WeTransfer. I've done it for a few people. If it's something you're interested in doing, you can do that. So, like I said, just private message me on Facebook and I'll, I'll get those off to you. But yeah, so free comic book day. Always fun. The first Saturday in, in May. Um, last year was a nicer day than today. Today has been kind of shitty and wet and cold. And But uh, anyway, I'm tired. I've been up, I got up early to get there uh, in, on time. I uh, went to five different comic book stores and uh, picked up some good deals and stuff. So, hey Stuart, ever see the first Action Comics with the premiere of Superman? I've seen one with an ungodly sale price of $300,000. I've got an exact replica of one that I got in, uh, it was Loot Crate a few months ago. Uh, so I, ha I have seen it, but yeah, the, the, they are one of the, I think that is the most valuable comic. Uh, it can go for a lot more than 300000 too, so that's not a bad price, but. 
Hey Patrick, how's it going? Um, so yeah, lots of great stuff. Looking forward to going through it all, and uh, some of the some of them I uh, like I said, m most of them are, are were free, um, but some of the graphic novels were on super great sale, and yeah, I couldn't pass these up. I really wanted the R two D two and C three PO Bandai kit. Unfortunately, they didn't have that, um, but I'm thinking of going back. I love the ATST. It's one of my favorite um, vehicles from Star Wars. I've got the original um, toy of this, and I've also got the Metal Earth one that I've built. So I'm looking forward to doing this one. But I want to go back and get the Millennium Falcon and uh, probably Luke's X-Wing. There were a few other X-Wings as well. Um, so, yeah, it's great stuff. A great day. Um, got a lot accomplished and a lot of cool stuff so I'm looking forward to going through all this but it's a lot so good for now watching TOS thinking up ideas for various fanfic stories etc etc cool Patrick looking forward to hearing some of those ideas um, anyway guys I'm not gonna keep you long like I said I just got home thought I'd share and uh, I'm really exhausted I need to sit on the couch and relax I'll probably end up having a nap because I'm old I never go for naps ever, but today I feel like I really need one because I've been up early two mornings in a row and just burning myself out. And today I was standing outside in line a lot of the time. Um, so eh, when you're standing outside in the cold and the wet, it kind of takes a toll on you. My back is killing me because, like I said, I'm old and my back's really bad. So, hey, Steven. Uh, so, yeah, anyways, I'm going to let you guys go and I will talk at you very soon. Uh, stay tuned for my next captain's log where I've I got some more stuff from Canada Post Which I want to share with you guys and I got all this stuff. So anything that's relevant to Star Trek uh, I will be sharing with you guys on my next captain's log, which is next Friday. If you're not old brother. We're just well seasoned <laughs> Yes, sometimes over seasoned, you know, if you put too much salt on it, it's not a good thing I'm just saying sometimes more cowbell is not a good thing and I'm at that point. I think Cliff <laughs> anyway, see you guys later. Have a good day and a good weekend, everybody. Captain Foley signing off. Bye-bye. So, guys, I decided instead of using my iPhone to do a Facebook Live, I would do a uh, do one from my computer. And uh, this is the, 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 the look I got. Uh, I don't understand what's going on. This is on my computer's uh, built-in camera. Uh, which is a 3d camera um, I look like I'm from another dimension another reality or I'm being I don't know transmissions being jammed maybe it's an encoded transmission uh, from Captain Foley cameras not dying it's a brand new brand new system brand new camera uh, works fine all the other times it, it recognizes me when I sit down in front of my computer and activates the computer but yeah this is a cool look I like it I wish I could get it to do this just when I want it to I don't know how to like change it uh, yes I'm, I'm transmitting from a Romulan ship that's exactly what it is uh, <laughs> so I don't know I just thought I'd uh, see what you guys were up to and uh, yeah apparently using my computer camera isn't a, isn't a thing that is a thing uh, I'll have to go into the settings maybe and try to mess with it <laughs> well it's not a big deal Patrick uh, yeah it worked works fine every other time uh, I've never tried a Facebook live with my with this camera though so I think I look better this way much much more handsome don't you think seems smiling you can't even tell but, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to go into the settings and kind of mess with this, see what's going on. Uh, it is a good look. I should do a whole Trek Yards episode like this as a encrypted communique, as it were. How well can you guys hear me? Like, can you hear me okay? Is it better when I do this? Like, uh, I think it's going through my... 
a Yeti microphone that I use for track yards, but I'm not sure. I don't know if it's going through that or through the camera's microphone. So do I get louder when I go up here to this? Like, if you guys could help me out with that, that'd be awesome. Keep an eye out for Agent Smith. <laughs> There you go. Check that out. That's freaky. I like it. I like it a lot. Wish it was like deliberate. Anyway, guys. Live long and prosper. I'll see you guys later. I might do another live broadcast later today. I'm not sure. I'm going to see if I can get this camera fixed. Yeah, I guess the Borg assimilated truck yards. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, so that's my... Thank you, Katie. So that's my Yeti microphone that it's using. So, I mean, if I pull this closer... Then you got the, the live sounds and sultry voice of truck yards in the house. You know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe if I... Uh, I'm going to go and check my camera settings and see what's going on. But I like it. I like it. Anyway, guys, hope you're having a fantastic Saturday and a great weekend, and I will hopefully see you later. I don't know if I'll be doing another live today. If I do, um, it won't look like this, I'm sure, but I really like this look. It's good. It's good stuff. So, <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, live, lo live long and prosper, and I will see you in the future. Bye, everybody. Hi guys. Captain Foley back with you and my video is not all screwed up now. Like I said, I tried it for my computer. All the other programs on my computer work. When I check uh, my video, everything works fine. I mean, I'll prove it to you. Go into my L cars thing here. Go into my hollow cam. See, everything's good. I, I look good on here. Everything's fine. I don't look all Romulanized or Borgified or pixelated. Um, so I don't know what's going on with that. But Anyway, uh, like I said, I was at Free Comic Book Day and grabbed some Hero Clicks things, or, or things for chips for a game. These were three for a dollar. So I got the Kazon ship. I got the USS Raven, which is one of my favorite designs. It's a pretty cool little ship. I see you, DCS. Now tell me, Captain, isn't it better this like this? <laughs> Fit warrior to warrior. I can see you. Can you see me, Kirk? Uh, I got this one, which is like a... What does this one say? The Acorum. Which is like a ship of the week, I guess. You'd think I would be taking a nap, but I haven't yet. I feel a little bit better now. Um, I am still kind of tired, but I usually don't take naps during the day, like I said. So We've got the Romulan de Deridex. And these are fantastic little models. Got three for a dollar, so I got uh, nine in total, which was all the ones that they had. Uh, they had a few extra de Deridexes and um, Winter Treasure shuttles and things. Hey, Jen, how's it going? Handsome man, where? I don't see it. Get him off my broadcast. Here's the NX-01. Say hi to Sylvia for me, Jen. Is she watching or is she busy? Here's a little shuttle. This thing yeah, it was the one designed by Andrew Probert. Um, I can't remember the type of shuttle it is. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. Oh, she's busy? Well, say hi and tell her that I love her very much. 
list. But here's a little shuttle uh, designed, by, designed by Andrew Probert. Now this one I absolutely hate the way this thing looks on screen. But now that I got a model of it, this is a pretty fantastic little ship. I like it. We've got the Constellation, uh, which is actually this one's the USS Hathaway. She's laughing at you. Well, everyone laughs at you, Jen. You should be used to that by now. I'm just kidding. Yes, thank you, Type 7. You're the man, Stephen John Hills. So we got the Constellation there with the four nacelles. We've got a battle-damaged bird of prey. But it's true that everybody laughs at you? Oh, that's not true. And we got this one. This one's called Interceptor 5, which is just one of the little... Uh, is this a Bajoran fighter? I believe it is. I can't recall. Trek Yards is stumped at the moment. I love the Hathaway. I've been thinking about writing about a Constellation class ship. Well, then do it. Don't just think about doing it. Do it. Do it. Do it to it. So yeah, Woo. little one. So that's all of them. That's the fleet. It's a Bajoran interceptor. There we go. Cool. Um. Yeah. So yeah, lots of cool stuff. I don't want to give away too much stuff because, like I said, I want to keep it for my captain's log. Uh, but. Uh, me and my dad went out yesterday and we went to some model train shops because we're big into model trains. Both of us, I prefer N scale and HO. He does the uh, Lionel, the bigger ones, uh, the O scale. Um, hey, Raymond. Uh, so we got some Lionel cal uh, ca yeah, calendars, uh, catalogs. So we got the 2017 catalog and we got the Christmas 2017 catalog. And uh, there's a few in here that I need to pick up, I think. Uh, I do have a big Lionel train around my Christmas tree every year. Um, if you haven't seen it, there are some videos of it online. God, I love your screensavers and backgrounds on your PCs. Thank you. Um, but yeah, so Christmas one's pretty fantastic. Who out there likes model trains? Come on and give me what scales you like. Like I, like I said, I'm more of an N-scale guy. got a huge N-scale locomotive collection. Um, a few diesels. I'm not huge into diesel locomotives. I prefer steam locomotives. But, Jen, seriously, you like model trains? You've become one of my new best friends. But anyway, here, uh, I need to get a new locomotive for my train, my Christmas train. And I'm thinking about... This bad boy, the Berkshire. I do, don't know scale-wise, but I love thinking up ideas for trains. You were always a best friend. Oh, thank you, Jen. Here's the Berkshire. I would probably get the Lionel Lines one down here with the Lionel Lines on the tender. Uh, this one's actually not bad priced. It's only 449 When me and my dad went out, we saw one of the new... Um, was it a Hudson or was it a Berkshire? I think it was a Berkshire. Uh, but it didn't have the standard uh, coal tender. It had the the round one. I think it's coal and oil in those. Um, uh, so, and it was like 1100 bucks, which I absolutely wanted it. It was... Oh, 1100 is a little bit much. 450 that's more in my price range and these ones these ones are controlled by Bluetooth now so these ones you can control from your phone uh, and that's absolutely just freaking awesome so <clears throat> uh, there's also these ones the Hudson and the Pacific uh, so some of my favorite locomotives are Berkshire Hudson Pacific um, those are my big main ones. Uh, so th these are the ones that are in the catalog. But uh, this is a 462 right there. And that's the uh, Pacific. And here's the Hudson. And it is a 464. Yeah, 464. In case you're wondering and you don't know things about trains, 
Um, thank you for all the videos you guys do. Oh, no problem, man. I love doing it. Uh, if anybody refers to a, a steam locomotive and they say 462, uh, in case you guys don't know, that's the configuration of the wheels. Uh, four, it represents four on the front truck, six main drive wheels, and then four on the rear truck. So this is a 464. This one here is a four. It's got four on the front, six, and then two. It's only got two on the rear on the rear cradle. So that's another that's another um, passion of mine is trains. Uh, and like I said, I've got a lot of HO, a lot of N scale. I would love to get a layout at some point. My dad's got a huge uh, HO collection. Uh, his dad, my papa, his whole basement was once a train layout, and it's it was beautiful. Like you had to crawl under it, and then there was a little trapdoor thing you popped up in the middle, and the, all the controls were around you, and you had the whole layout around you. So when he passed away, my dad got all those HO locomotives and all that model railroading stuff. And we grew up with that. But my dad's more into the bigger Lionel trains. Uh, he wants to go into the G scale. Uh, G scale are the much larger than O scale. And they're more of like the garden railways. Uh, not the ones you sit on. Not that big. But I mean like a standard G scale locomotive would be like that long. Like huge. Um, so that's something I'd like to is for him. He's got a four and a half acre property. So I would love for him to make a, o, or a G scale layout in the backyard. Uh, so yeah. Um, see, I don't know what was up with my last live video. Uh, as I said, it looked like a Romulan transmission, like a Romulan encoded transmission, or I got assimilated by the Borg, but uh, it was pretty interesting to say the least. So. Didn't I see those in Hell on Wheels? I don't know if you did or not. I don't know what you've seen. So anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, it's a lazy Saturday, and I was sitting upstairs watching Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, which, seriously, not the best Indiana Jones movie, to be sure. So, and I'm sorry you guys have got this all twisted because you're getting a mirror view see my insignia is on the wrong side so if i do save this video and upload it to youtube as part of our kind of captain my captain's log series um you guys I'll, I'll flip it for you guys so you can see what the hell's going on yes i did get the starfleet intelligence reports jack and the romulans did attempt to jam the transmission they didn't necessarily hack into the transmission uh and it caused a, a huge glitch so my friend ash is here hey ash how's it going you missed it we we're just talking about trains me and my dad went to a few train shops yesterday and we just got the new lionel catalog and i was talking about locomotives and stuff ash is big into trains as well he's an n scale guy like myself what's even better than n scale is the z scale they're the super small ones uh much smaller than uh n scale but they're super expensive. So when you go with the Lionel, they're the, the bigger ones, they're super expensive. You get to the other end of the spectrum with the small ones, it's the Z scale. And also, they are super expensive. In the middle's not bad. HO is the most reasonable priced, reasonably priced out of all of them. Uh, N scale, the price starts to creep up a little bit. Uh, like for a standard N scale steam locomotive, you're looking at anywhere from 150 bucks up. I mean, I, I have one that's $600 uh, for just a little N-scale locomotive, um, which I could actually show you guys if you're interested. If I get, if I get enough uh, thumbs up and hearts maybe flying across my screen, you never know. I might take upstairs and show you some of my uh, N-scale uh, locomotive collection. Oh, there's two thumbs up. See, that's not enough. I need more than that. <sighs> I need... I need to, th oh, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, they're all from Jack, though. Oh, they can't all be from one person. Oh, man. And no hearts, no hearts. So, I'm kind of disappointed now. No hearts, Jack, I don't see any hearts. I like, I see the thumbs up, but I don't see any hearts. There we go, there's some hearts. Oh, sorry. Give me the likes and the hearts and things, or I'm gonna. Ah! 
That's better. Well, I think that might be enough likes and hearts to get me to take you guys upstairs and show you my train collection, perhaps. If you ask nicely. Now you gotta ask nicely. Oh, I kicked my trap hard. I kicked it again, on again. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Nobody's asked me and said please. You say please, I might show you the Yensko collection. Sue, Sue, calm down, you need to medicate. Who, me? I don't need to medicate. I'm overtired, that's the pro oh please, there we go. Bill, I know Bill would be interested in trains. Um, Bill, you missed the first part of the conversation. We we're talking about Lionel trains and locomotives and I, can't, I gave you guys a lesson on what 242 means or 464 or whatever. Yeah, 242. Uh, please, can we see your trains? Please, 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 please. Oh, please, oh, please. Jay is another one I think would be definitely interested. Okay, fine. You guys have talked me into it. Plus, when I go upstairs and I change the camera, uh, it'll change it back from mirrored to not mirrored, and then you can actually see in the non-mirror universe what's going on. So... Walking around my house, we're seeing things in my house. Hopefully, it's not too messy. Yeah, it's very messy. Look, Wolverine's on now. Kalo, my cat is being loud. Here's some of the train stuff. This one be HO scale. My little metal earth and uh, one of the Hallmark ornaments. One of my old games. And uh, okay, Bill, I'll put it on YouTube. So here we go. Hallmark ornament. That's the first end scale looking one I've ever got. The shells are really dusty, so I apologize. Another end scale. That's an end scale. There's my little Jupiter with like cobwebs. Here's another uh, Hallmark ornament set. This uh, rail car actually lights up, but I think the batteries are dead right now. Here's another end scale locomotive. Here's another one. It's one of my favorites. My parents got me this one. Here's another one. Damn cat. And two of my little uh, Hallmark ornaments there. It's got some of my signs, paintings. We got a lot more interest than just Star Trek. Uh, hometown is Stratford. This is a picture of the Stratford station. There you go. There's some of mine that I have out on display. I have a lot packed up as well. All the diesels are packed up. Um, my H O H O ones are stairs bill. They're packed up. Uh, I don't have room to display my HO. Uh, I just got my end scale. So, um, there's also this painting. She's in the living room here. So, in case you guys missed it earlier, here's all the haul from Free Comic Book Day. So there you go, guys. A little tour of the other one of my other collecting nesses is. Um, here's the wall going down to the basement. There's the Lamborghini I drove in Vegas. Right there. 
can see Stuart Foley has successfully completed the erotics racing driving at erotics exotics the exotics not erotics racing driving experience we have a Lamborghini Aventador LP 700 and an Austin Martin Vantage S at the exotic racing road course in Las Vegas so yeah my Sherlock Holmes maps and Camaro signs And there's me as a as a young buck. I used to love F14s, still do. This was at the London Air Show. Look at this dorky kid, which won't focus. Look at those shorts. And see now when I put this on on uh, Facebook, not Facebook. When I put this on YouTube, these are going to be mirrored. And this won't now, uh, which is odd. But anyway, you've seen the rest of the collection. You've seen the Star Trek stuff. Now you've seen some of the trains. I'll have to do my swords one day. That'll be a thing. Um, apologize for the mess in here. It's a messy room. And that makes me sad. There we go. Uh, one... 1 1 144 scale. Uh, is that HO scale, Bill? I'm not sure what the exact scaling is for those. So, but yeah, um, I do have, like I said, my, uh, you know, all my other HO stuff is packed away under the stairs in bins. Does Sylvia collect anything? It looks like you got the whole house crammed with your collection. She collects ladybugs. She collects. Um, Star Trek stuff of her own. She's got her own collection of Star Trek stuff. She collects S and M stuff. We got a lot of that in the bedroom. Um, what else does she collect? She got a, lots of uh, movies. She collects Alien stuff, um, specifically from the movie movie Alien, Aliens, uh, the H R Geiger Aliens. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, Ladybugs, Lego figures. She's got a whole collection of Lego figures. Um, but yeah, the majority of the house is decorated with my stuff, but I've had, I'm 10 years older than Sylvia. I've had a lot more years of collecting. So unfortunately, most of it is my stuff. <laughs> um, and you know me, Star Trek swords, Phantom of the Opera, Sherlock Holmes, trains. Um, what else do I collect? Uh, Lamborghinis other random stuff. I've got some smaller collections. Those are the big ones. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. Oh, and it's about 150 to 160 scale. Good to know. Good to know. But yeah, end scale is where, where I'm at. Bye, Bill. Nice seeing you. Sup, Foley. I'm here standing in line for free comics with my son in Idaho, only comic book store participating today. Gene, you missed it. I was out at comic book, free comic book day today free comic book day earlier today and uh i got uh, a whole whack load of stuff i've already done one live video on it i just showed a brief little bit of it in this one and uh we actually have one two three four i think there's five six comic shops in london so i went to all those hit all those up today got a bunch of free stuff and i hope you and your son have fun at the free comic book day. I was, of course, rocking out the Trek Yards gear. Um, uh, they had uh, the Ecto-1 there. They had the DeLorean Time Machine. They had Kit from Knight Rider. And they had the Blue, Blues, Blues Brothers car. Um, in London, there's a whole uh, section of uh, D um, Dundas Street that they closed down for free comic book day. It's a real event. So, um, yeah. So... There you go. Don't worry, Gene. I will be compiling these together in a video, I think, for YouTube so you guys can watch it later because um, a lot of people missed it on Facebook Live. So there you go. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. And while I was, while I was looking at Kit, um, somebody came up behind me and said, excuse me, I just want, you, want to let you know that I, I've watched your show and I really like what you do. And uh, I'm like, oh, well, thank you. And I shook his hand. I, I neglected to get his name, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, I had to Captain Foley admirer just out of the blue come up to me while I was 
geeking out myself on free comic book day so that's always nice to see hopefully he's a friend of mine on Facebook because I got so many I don't know hopefully he sees this and knows who he is but uh, yeah so there you go guys little train lesson showed you all of my little miniatures I got today um, like I said I spent about a hundred dollars which I probably shouldn't have uh, I did get a bunch of free stuff but I got a lot of graphic novels on sale uh, a lot of them for 10 bucks when they're regularly 35 uh, I got a Transformers 30th anniversary um, comic book collection, like a hardbound book that's regularly like 50 bucks. I got it up for 20. Uh, so, and then I got my my two Bandai models, which are upstairs. Um, maybe you finally have a stalker. Uh, I hope so. Um, so yeah, um, Jay. Jay, I know you're here. I will be showing off the Sherlock Holmes collection at some point, perhaps. Um, I know you, you just said you're a sh huge Sherlock Holmes fan, so... And not Sherlock, Sherlock, with Benedict Cumberbatch. I mean, it's good, but the definitive Sherlock Holmes, in my mind, it's not Basil Rathbone. He's good, but no. It would be Jeremy Brett from the 1984 um, Granada uh, series. Jeremy Brett and... Uh, People are, or are watching watch some of your live stream. <laughs> Sylvia just messaged me. Uh, well, I'm still live streaming, so hopefully they're still watching. Uh, but uh, yeah, so Jeremy Brett from the Granada series is the definitive Sherlock Holmes, and he did they did most of the stories. Uh, I, th I don't think they got them all done, but he passed away quite a few years ago. But he is definitely the definitive Sherlock Holmes. If you don't know who Jeremy Brett is and you're a Sherlock Holmes fan, shame on you. Shame on you. Go check it out. Um, but there's no, it's Ron Howard, there's, is it Ron Howard? There's a black and white, uh, I got the whole series on VHS. I think it's Ron Howard. Well, that sounds oddly not right. Anyway, Basil Rathbone, Jeremy Brett. Don't get me wrong, Benedict Cumberpatch is good. Um, the fact that they modernized it, it's kind of annoying. I loved the one, uh, with the mysterious bride or whatever it was called where they did it in victorian times and it just turned out to be like a in his head kind of thing that was fantastically done absolutely awesome uh so yeah sherlock holmes is is something i'm very very passionate about uh know a lot about i'm a sherlockian scholar as they put it um so i've got tons of sherlock holmes books lots of sherlock holmes collectibles and yeah so but yeah jeremy brett is the way to go if you want to see a true ver version of Holmes. Uh, also, uh, Johnny Lee Miller from Elementary. Fantastic job of Sherlock Holmes. Not the greatest fan of his Watson being Lucy Liu. I can't stand Lucy Liu. Um, but the stories are good, but it's, it's turned into just a regular police procedural. It really doesn't have much true Holmesian heart to it. Uh, but I still watch Elementary all the time. Uh, the Abominable Bride. Thank you. Thank you, Jordan. Um, that's still on my PVR. That one I haven't deleted because I, I like to rewatch that one. Because Sherlock Holmes belongs in Victorian times, not modern times. And there you go. Truby's now joined the conversation. People, I've lost people. I had eight people, now I have five. I must have warned people with Sherlock Holmes. That's a shame. They're really missing out. I love that Sherlock Holmes gets tied in with uh, Star Trek on a few occasions. Data, of course, during the holodeck thing. Spock. Um, an ancestor of mine maintained that once you have eliminated the impossible, whatever, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Sherlock Holmes quote, the most epic Sherlock Holmes quote that's quoted in anything Sherlockian, which kind of gets me to roll my eyes at times. Me and Sylvia will be watching elementary or something, and they refer to that, well, that quote, which it's true, once you have eliminated the impossible, Whatever remains, however improbable, must therefore be the truth. So, anyway. Um, I don't think you guys have seen my epically large, awesome Pez dispenser. This doesn't just dispense single pieces of candy. Full Pez packets. Okay, I get it. You're a heavy breather. Stop. 
thank you. So this I got from my brother for Christmas. Pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. But yeah, full Pez packets in there. It's full of complete Pez packets. Um, I, would, I do like R2-D2. There is a big R2-D2 one that I want to get, but uh, my brother got me this for Christmas, and it's pretty, pretty awesome. Epic. Luke, I am your Pez dispenser. No, he doesn't say Luke. I, I never said Luke. No, I am your father. I think he's already had a sleep study done, and I think they would mean Sherlock Holmes. Um, I think he has done a sleep study. I think he's got a built-in CPAP machine there, Jack. I think it's just set way too loud and doesn't, you know, it's not a whispered quiet one. He probably does need a lung transplant. They're probably, they're probably all scorched and burned, I agree. But yeah, epic pest dispenser alert, guys. Oh, that's another thing I collect, of course. Besides just Star Wars toys in general. Uh, Astromech droids. Hello. I love R2-D2. Are his batteries dead? Oh, his batteries are dead. That's a shame. This is the interactive R2. Oh. He, uh, oh, there we go. Hey, R2. Hey, R2. R2. Okay, stop. Do you remember Luke Skywalker? Do you remember Darth Vader? Do you remember Princess Leia? This is our most desperate hour. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Do you remember C3PO? He is kind of an asshole. Do you remember Luke Skywalker? Yes. R2. 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 Dance program. He's being saucy with me. Dance program. R2. Behave. Dance program. Dance program. His batteries are dying. He's not listening. Yeah. Yeah, his batteries are really getting bad. Dance program. R2. Anyway, he does do a dance program where he sings the Cantina song, but he's being bitchy today. Yeah, see, his batteries are dying. Something fierce. R2? Hey, R2. This is a boring video for you guys, isn't it? Dance program. Dance program? Never mind. Anyway, so yeah, I collect R2-D2s as well. I got that little guy. I got this much bigger one. And of course, all the ones you saw in the other room when I cleaned my collection. Um, my boy said that R2s, that's fart 2 p 2 And then all the ones on my desk, which you guys have probably already all seen as well, so. But anyway, so there you go. A little bit of my collection, and, uh, yeah, I'm just rambling now. I got nothing but time and dust on me.
Archie's dusty. He's on the floor. He's dusty. He's neglected. He needs new batteries. I don't take care of him as well as I should. I'm just kidding. I love Archie. Um, <clears throat> Did you see the post that I shared that had a ship from Discovery? No. Was it the shuttlecraft that's on a flatbed? Because if it's a shuttlecraft that's on a flatbed, I don't think that's from Discovery. Um, I've seen that around. People are complaining and bitching and whining about it. But it was spotted in L.A. It was spotted in L.A. on a flatbed, Truby, and they're filming it in Toronto. There's no way the props department is building a prop and shipping it from L.A. to Toronto. They would build it in Toronto. Uh, that's not for Star Trek. I'm 100% sure of that. Okay, well, I'm 95% sure of that, because if I could be wrong, but I highly, highly doubt it. Just logic suggests that it's not coming from L.A. to Toronto. Um, but yeah, people have been blowing up about that, just complaining and bitching and whining that it doesn't look... Uh, anyway, whatever. I don't think so, Truby, but thank you for sharing it. Um, it could be from it. I mean, eh, not necessarily the Discovery shuttlecraft. It could be like... They could be doing a, a flashback scene that involves one of the first... Because it looks more like Enterprise era. Uh, so, eh. But I don't think it is. I don't think so. And they would have that stuff covered. They would not be shipping that thing. For a, pro, for a, 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 a project like Star Trek, they're not going to be shipping that out in the open for everybody to see down the highway. They're going to have that covered. They're going to have it sealed up in a crate. Plus, if it is coming from L.A. to Toronto for filming, there's no way they're going to leave it uncovered for that whole trip. That's like a three-day trip across the country. Um, no, I don't think so. Uh, but, yeah, um, I mean, I would like to know what it's from. Uh, people don't need to stop bitching so much about Discovery and wait and see. I totally agree with you, Truby, a thousand percent. Uh, I... I stood behind Discovery for a long time. I have kind of got disheartened by it, and I just it's to the point where I don't care right now. I just want to see something from it. I'm going to wait for it. Um, I'm definitely not going to boycott it. I'm definitely going to watch it all, whether it sucks or not. Uh, it's, just the, it's just the way it is. So, yeah, I totally agree with that. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I almost 95% sure that that's not from Discovery. Uh yeah. Yeah. Now I'm running out of steam. Now I'm getting kind of tired. Um, oh, yeah, I need to replace R2's batteries. This guy takes like... What is it? Like six triple A's. No, six double A's. And I think two D-cell batteries. Captain. Oh, my phone... Just gave me a lot low power warning. Captain, do you like Mystery Science Theater 3000? Just got Netflix so I can watch the new episodes. Uh, yeah, I've got a few of the older ones on DVD. I never really got into it, but uh, it's just like Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Where she like looks at an old horror movie. So, um, so yes, I do like it is the answer. Not gonna, not gonna take his batteries out right now. But he takes like six double A's and like two D cell batteries, and they've been in him for a while, so he's definitely dying, um, which is a shame. This this interactive droid's pretty fun. Uh, when he's mad or upset, his light's always red. When he's in a good mood, it's blue, and when he's in a ho hum mood, it's blue and red. Dance program, and he doesn't listen. He's got a stubborn attitude sometimes. Thank, thank you, Jay. How do you like Star Renegades so far? Eh, they should have kept it Star Trek, in my opinion. Okay. See, he doesn't listen to me, and he just does random stuff when his batteries are dying. Play message. Dance program. Oh. Well, he... Dance program. Dance program. D R2. 
dance program. <laughs> Never mind. Sing Cantina song. Okay, you're you're going on the floor. Yeah, you kind of are. Don't talk back to me. Mm. Do you remember? Do you remember? R2. Do you remember? Darth Vader. Don't do that. Anyway. Say bye, R2. He's going away. Turned you off. There you go. Not going to listen to me? You're going to be all rude and stubborn and obstinate in front of the people? Then you can go away. <sighs> sorry, guys. I'm, I'm totally sorry about all that. He's a bit of an asshole. So I just saw on the Trek Yards page, somebody posted that the original Enterprise was in the movie. It's in a scene being held by somebody in the background when Sulu hugs his uh, husband or boyfriend or whatever he was. It's this little light up Enterprise. So the TOS Enterprise is in Star Trek Beyond, just so you guys know. If you haven't seen the, the post on Trek Yards on the Facebook page, go check it out. Uh, they circled it. Some little kid or something is holding the stuffed plushie of the original Enterprise. And, uh, yeah. That looks dirty. Looks like a nipple. Looks like it's cold in here. You didn't see that, did you? Uh, I got that R2 at Toys R Us many, 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 many moons ago. They've since come out with different uh, versions of it, newer ones. Uh, they're, they're called interactive R2-D2s. Uh... They do f fantastic things. He, he he does dance, and when he's sad, and you tell him to dance, he does it a, do 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 really slow. And when he's happy, and you tell him to do it, he's do 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 do, and he's like moving around really quick. And I'm looking looking like a fool here, dancing, singing, yeah. Born star Foley. Thanks, Truey. If only you knew. If only you knew. But, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I, I, anyway, guys. It's Saturday. I'm bored. The wife's at work. The youngest kid's upstairs. She's playing, I think, Overwatch right now. Um, Dot's upstairs. A little chihuahua. She's sleeping. The cats are doing their own cat things. My oldest son, he's up in Muskoka right now. He's going to be working up there this winter, this summer. It's like a five-hour drive. He went up for orientation today. He's just messaged me while we were doing this that he's on his way back home. And my daughter is out buying with her friends, shopping for a prom dress. So I'm at home alone and I'm bored. But my phone is dying rapidly, so I'm going to call this quits so I don't lose this video and I will talk to you all again very soon. Thank you very much for watching and putting up with me. Live long and prosper and have a Pez. Here you go. Take it. Take the Pez. Bye guys. <laughs>